hello hello everybody it's web profit and we're back again with a new video by good enough this is the deadliest man eaters to ever exist and it's not your mom okay let's, let's start with the most horrifying man eaters on the list and slowly work our way all right the stuff most nightmares. horrifying number hey, eight this i know the lions are gonna be here i've read somewhat of the book two lions in africa Killing people. Ah, yes. Spotted Devil. Only one I know that's probably going to be The Spotted this. Devil was the nickname oh, given to one of the most feared leopards leopard? to have ever Wait, lived. Aren't leopards kind of like smallish? They're not that big. In the 1940s, in the state of Tamil Nadu, India, the leopard would claim 250 miles of jungle as its personal hunting ground. But the reason this leopard was so feared was for its proficiency Yonkin in kids? hunting humans. Oh. Now, if this isn't terrifying enough, leopards are nocturnal hunters. So yeah. any attack that would be carried out would be in the darkness of I mean, night, where you would most cats are never like that, no? see it coming. God damn. And 42 people across multiple villages God would meet this horrifying... Hey, yo, that's a lot of people. By one leopard. Bro, how big are leopards? The spotted devil big. became so feared spotted that after devil. a while, people in the villages began to barricade their doors after sunset and refused to step foot outside, including to use the restroom, okay, causing that's... a health crisis okay. in many villages. Okay, that's kind of wild. Brother. And in its frustration, the leopard would begin to enter homes through windows, what? roofs, or by any means necessary. What did I enter the homes? I was like, hey, listen, there is no point in barricading your home. Okay, it's a cat, brother. It's a big cat, but it's not gonna enter your home. What the hell? Necessary. Snatching people in the dead of night snatching and dragging them into wait, the what? forest. Wait, wait, this snatching your peoples of y'all remember that meme? Oh god, I'm old. Devoured. It wouldn't be until the famous hunter Kenneth Anderson was called Kenneth for Anderson. help that the leopard would finally be okay, challenged. Listen, do they not have? It's the 1940s. People have guns. It's World War II. There is a lot of people with a lot of guns. Like no one was like Anderson hey, was a ow. notorious hunter that specialized in hunting big game animals, especially those that hunted humans. Oh, it shit. would take him I've three nights him. to finally come face to face three with the cat. That does not seem like that much where he would Pretty be woken good. up in the middle of the night by a stray dog that he befriended that night uh. when it began to violently shake with uncontrollable fear. And when Anderson looked up at the roof, he would okay, catch a goosebumps. glimpse of the devil before losing it in the darkness. He then began to actively search for the cat. And after... Okay, let's talk about this. How big, gigantic, unwieldy must your ball sack be for you to go hunt... Uh, nocturnal predator that is known to kill people in the night a few minutes huh? had gone by he would be alerted by a bark from the stray dog Good bar, causing bar. anderson to quickly turn around and seeing the leopard charging okay. straight at him and that leopard looking he looking kind of spicy though in that instant he managed to let off three shots oh, from his damn. 405 caliber winchester killing the cat in its tracks Sheesh. after examining the body anderson would discover porcupine quails lodged mm. between the toes of the leopard's foot an injury that prevented it from hunting its natural prey resulting the animal to turn to human flesh Wait. As for the stray dog... Hey, how the hell does that make sense? It cannot hunt little porcupines, so it hunts gigantic people? What? The Anderson befriended during that hunt. He would actually go on to uh, adopt him. Number I mean, seven, I would adopt the dog the that saved my life too. Good. This was a pair of Bengal tigers consisting of an old tigress and her young adult cub, which okay. over the course of five years managed to accumulate 64 confirmed kills. God this damn. all took place in the Kumal division in India from 1920. Hey, yo, India, are you guys okay? What is going on in there? What are you doing? What are you feeding these goddamn animals? What is the water there? 5 through 1930. The pair of tigers would turn a 1,500 square mile mountain region into their own personal hunting grounds. Damn. This terrain would include multiple villages which they actively hunted. It's a they would alternate attacks from village to village as this tactic allowed them to catch the villagers <laughs> off blushing. guard. And after three years of pure hell, the locals began to reach out and seek the help of Jim Corbett. Jim Corbett Jim Cor was an Indian born Okay, I think I've heard of that name. 
I'm not sure where I heard it, but that sounds extremely familiar. Born British hunter who specialized in hunting man eating tigers and leopards. But to catch this pair of tigers, it would take Corbett three separate hunting trips that spanned over Damn. a period of two years. Eventually, Damn. on his third trip on the 19th day, he would finally come face to face with a pair of tigers. He headed Wait. to the small village. From what I know of tigers, they don't really hunt in packs. Like, they're not like lions where they, you know, have a pride that hunts. Lion, uh, tigers are usually lonesome hunters, like most big cats are. It's weird that these two are hunting together. Of Kala Agar, which Kala was the Agar. last place the tigers were known to be. There, he began to hang buffalo meat as bait mm -hmm. in the hopes that it would lure out the cats. While on post, Corbett would be alerted by a companion that they had heard the lions nearby. Okay, and I would not trust that companion if he told me anything. If he told me the sun is in the sky, I would not trust that motherfucker. Before he knew it, he would turn a corner and catch himself standing right in front of the tigress Damn. at a distance of eight feet. She was sitting Bro, next to a nothing. large boulder when Corbett would take the shot, killing her Damn. and putting an end to the attacks. What about the male? He would then kill the young adult oh. cub shortly after. Upon further Why investigation, he, he would discover that the tiger's claws and canine teeth were broken and huh. her front teeth completely worn down, causing her to turn to humans as her primary source of food. Number six, Wait. Osama. What were they... What were they worn out from okay I'm we know about this this was the terrifying i think we've seen this on a uh, count dankula's video we need to check him out soon but crocodile yeah. that lived on lake victoria in africa from the years 1991 through 2005. Or it is it believed one? that this one crocodile has eaten over 83 people God. it's very difficult Damn. to confirm these numbers since the crocodile would oftentimes attack people that were fishing alone and of course mm. would consume them whole there have been multiple instances where pieces of clothing would wash ashore from someone who had recently went missing. Sheesh. But sadly, ripped pieces of clothing were not the only thing to wash ashore. Sometimes an arm or a leg would too. The locals have even reported <laughs> seeing children dragged from shore after Damn. attempting to fill their buckets. But the horrifying nightmare doesn't stop there. The crocodile would even develop the skill of capsizing boats by slamming the boat from underneath, sending the fisherman Bro, why he drew him so jacked though? Look at how jacked this dude is. Flying into the water, becoming Jesus. easy lunch. This yeah. crocodile was such a menace that he would oftentimes just launch himself vertically out of the water and belly flopping That's directly crazy. onto that people's boats. That is crazy. <laughs> clamping onto fishermen's legs and dragging them into the water. And out of all the people this crocodile attacked, only 15 of them would survive to only. tell the tale. But thankfully in- Okay, the chance of you surviving that with no permanent disabilities are pretty low though. 2005, the crocodile would finally be caught where he was then killed and made into luxury handbags. <laughs> Number five, the cycle the man of life. leopard of Radar Priyag. A the first attack again. came in 1918 in Benji village in the Radar Priyag district of India. This would mark the start of a India. What is going on? Brother. A bloody I'm sensing a pattern that here. That would last eight long years, leaving 125 Holy people shit. dead. During this time, brother, this is number five. This is number five, and this dude has killed 125 people. Period. Very few people would even dare to step outside of their homes after sunset, fearing that the leopard would be waiting for them outside, as okay. he often. Okay, I need to see this once. Okay, so leopards are between 50 and 70 kilos. That is not a small cat, but that is not that big, brother. In wood. 120 people. Since he preferred the taste of human flesh over anything else. And when people stopped going outside, the leopard began to adapt. In. He would begin to break Snatch down doors, leap through windows, and even come in from the roof, which were made from plants. And uh, once inside, he would okay. grab the person and drag them out to the dark forest where he would devour them. After hundreds of people News met this fate, cat. units of Gurkha and British soldiers were sent in to track the animal. Why does dude's mouth look like a sex toy? Like, brother, what are you animal down but failed miserably the british government even offered a handsome reward a to anyone who could manage to kill the cat and many well-known and famous hunters stepped up for the task 
and failed as well. Damn. But on the 2nd of May, 1926, the legendary hunter Jim Corbett would personally Corbett take again. this task on for himself. This would lead him on a 10 week hunt through the jungle where he would track the cat down and shooting it dead, dead, dead. completing a task. God damn. Okay. That many Why is thought was there? impossible. And after examining the body, Corbett what would happened? discover that there was nothing inherently wrong with the cat. Well, just nothing that would prevent it from hunting its regular prey. It just like Since human. it did have some bullet wounds from hunters who had recently missed its vital organs. But other than that, it was fine. Corbett came to the conclusion that the cat had developed a taste for human flesh when it was God still very damn. young. You see, a cholera outbreak occurred years prior, cholera? and many people who died from the disease would be taken to grave sites where they were left unburied. Oh. And to a young cat, this would have been... Wait, that sounds like a very bad idea. Wouldn't it spread more if they're not un unburied? Why not burn them? Isn't that what you do in like these sort of epidemics? Easy food. But when the disease the inevitably day? slowed down, the bodies did too, <laughs> causing the cat's no food, food supply to dwindle down. So naturally, the cat began to hunt and consume the food that it had always eaten. Number four, the man-eating lions of Sabo. Yes. If there okay, was I've read the story about these dudes. It involves a railway and lions okay that's what i remember any man eating so animal on the list that you might have heard of this would probably be the one the sabo man yeah. eaters were a pair of male lions There's in the sabo region of kenya these lions would target construction workers yep. who were working on the uganda and kenya railway between march and december of 1898 the pair of lions would stalk the campsites and strike in the dead of night by grabbing I don't want fucking looking like that, brother. Why? ...workers from their tents and dragging them out to devour them. Uh, it's said that like anywhere from 28 more. to 138 Damn. people met this fate. Around 30 that Indian is. workers and an unknown amount of native African workers. For Bro, why is it always Indian people getting eaten? I swear they got something's up. For some reason, no one kept records of the African workers that went missing. That's why there's such an enormous reason. disparity I in the fatality why. count. And when the attacks first began, only one of the lions would enter the camp at night, taking mm. one victim to be split among the pair. But as time went on, the pair of lions would become a lot more bold, with both of them going into camps and each of them claiming a victim for themselves. These oh, imagine sleeping at night knowing that tomorrow you're gonna be one less, some motherfucking cat comes and yoinks your people up at night. Like, how are you sleeping? How are you not making this into a war zone, digging, digging trenches? Trenches placing traps. Tax would be carried out on an almost daily basis to with somebody. all the workers personally knowing someone who had went missing. That's it fucked. wouldn't be until hundreds of workers abandoned the job site, which caused the entire project to come to a complete stop. That the officials were finally forced to find a solution, sending in a. Yeah, I'll bet they didn't mind losing people. I mean, it's probably cheaper for them than actually hiring somebody to kill the lions, which is really sad. 20 Indian soldiers to hunt the pair of lions down, India. where they would go on to completely India. fail. But on December 9th, 1898, Thank Colonel you. John Henry Patterson would catch John one Henry of these lions Patterson. approaching camp. He would go on to tag it with a high caliber rifle on the back leg and Damn scaring burn. it off, just for it to return back the same night, where awesome. Patterson would tag it one- The same night? Okay, so- from what I know, injuring wild animals is usually they die because, I mean, they don't have, uh, you know, ways to clean wounds and shit like that. And if you're injured as a wild hunter, you're kind of fucked. So I'm surprised that a lot of these animals have been injured before and they're like, eh, flesh won't let me kill your ass. Once more, piercing its heart. The second lion, on the other Good hand, shot. was an absolute tank. Damn. He managed to survive getting shot nine times with three different guns Damn. across an 11 day period. What is that gun? And it wouldn't be until Colonel Patterson 11? yet again. Bro, it, came, it, it kept coming back? Place the final shot on its head that the lion would finally be stopped. Jesus. Today, these lions are proudly displayed at the Field Museum in Chicago. Number three, Gustav. Gustav oh, is no, a no. Mark okay, okay. I, f I fucked up. This is the crocodile we know about from the Dankiela video, not the other one. Nile crocodile from Burundi, Africa. Yeah. He is rumored to have killed anywhere from 200 to 300 people on the banks of the Rusizi River That's and in the connecting dead. lake of Tanganyika. All the locals in Burundi claim to know someone that has been taken by Gustav Damn. or someone who has simply vanished without a trace. A few locals have even been attacked by him and were lucky enough to Chomp. live to tell the tale. Their bodies left covered in scars from the encounter. 
But here's the terrifying part. Not only is Gustav a man-eater who takes every opportunity he can to devour humans, he is also not a typical size for a yeah, Nile crocodile. <laughs> In fact, he is much, much bigger. He's a big being boy. the largest Chonker. Nile crocodile to have ever been recorded. Here's an image of your average size Nile crocodiles, and, and here is Gustav. Gustav. Scientists have speculated that his unusually large size prevents him from hunting his regular prey, so ah. he had to resort to other means. Too slow. Gustav is easily identified by the scars across his body, the scars that were left after being shot multiple times with an AK-47. After still alive. multiple attempts on his life, the locals are now convinced that his hide is so thick that it's it bulletproof. actually makes him bulletproof. To this day, there have been multiple attempts to capture him, oh but God. have all ended in failure. Brother. And as far as we know, he still roams the river to this day. Number wait, two, did, wait, the Panar. Didn't they capture this dude? Am I misremembering something? Man eater. The oh Panar man eater India, was a male no. leopard who was responsible for over 400 fatal attacks, Where? which were all carried out in the darkness of night. This Where? leopard single handedly terrorized the villagers in the Panar region in Almora district of India during Brother. the early 20th century. Years would go by with the leopard having his way and picking villagers off with ease. Hey, the locals, damn. gripped with fear, refused to even step India, outside of their up? homes after sunset. The leopard would eventually adapt to this and began to snatch the villagers from inside of their homes dragging them into the jungle to devour them. The leopard was so efficient in hunting humans that the government eventually had to step in and Damn. offer some assistance, the best way that they knew how. They called the- <laughs> I mean, how many people must die for the government to be like, eh, okay, we lost like 300 people, give it a couple more. 350, okay, now we need to call the hunters. We can't lose 360 people. That's so many. Upon Jim Corbett, the legendary it's Jim hunter Corbett who had a again. reputation for killing yeah, man eaters. Damn. As we already covered some yeah, of the stories on this list. Yeah, everything. But to kill this elusive animal, it would take Corbett multiple hunting trips before damn. he would ever even get a glimpse of the cat. Corbett okay. would travel for days on foot through the dense Indian forest to reach an area where the leopard was known to hunt. And on his journey, he would even contract malaria. Ugh. And that was still not enough to stop him. Once Damn. he finally reached the village Absolute where the leopard beast. was last seen, he would set up a base on top of a tree, but not before tying up a small goat 30 yards away to Damn, hopefully brother. lure out the cat. Hours would go by while he waited at his post, and as it began to get dark, the birds would be the first to give him a sign, as they would begin to act out in complete fear. Mm. And soon after, he began to hear something brushing against the bushes right next to him, and all he could do was sit and wait and this would go on for a few minutes. But eventually, whatever was in the bushes slowly worked its way towards the small goat and? and killing it. And in the complete darkness, Corbett was forced to guess where the monster could be, taking a shot towards the direction of the goat, followed by miss? an angry grunt. Oh. And for a second, the scenery lit up from the shot, seeing the cat falling backwards and hearing it run back into the forest. Oh shit, he didn't kill the it. Villagers were persistent and convinced Corbett to track the animal down that night, instead of waiting for the morning like he wanted. He Tracking a wounded animal at night. In the Indian forest. I, okay, brother. Told them that the only that way shit. he would do it is if they promised to hold their ground if they came across the beast, as they would be the only source of light that he would have. I wouldn't they trust these motherfuckers promised. at all. They would then begin to track the blood trail left from the cat, following the trail through the jungle. When out of the darkness, the cat would emerge, charging straight at them, with the local villagers running for their lives. Nobody's surprised here. in their here. panic, they began to trip over one <laughs> another, dropping Dumbass the torches to the jungle floor. And in the chaos, Corbett would take multiple shots at the leopard and killing it. Oh, He would Good go job, on Corbett. to write in his book that if the it's locals cool. had not fallen down and tripped over each other, he would have been left standing there in the complete darkness. That and suck. the cat might have been the one walking away instead of him. Number one, the devil of India. This is the single devil. Okay, come on, now? At this point, it's not the deadliest man-eaters on Earth, it's the deadliest man-eaters in India. There's been like two dudes in Africa and like 17 dudes in India. What is going on, deadliest India? Deadliest animal to have ever I lived. I swear to God. And would make one hunter an absolute legend. The devil of India was a Bengal tigress responsible for Tigress. an estimated 436 God. deaths. Damn. Which she acquired in Nepal and the Kumal division in India. It in all seems to be North India as well. In the 20th century. The tigress was even entered into the Guinness Book of World Records for holding the largest <laughs> number of fatalities by a single animal. That's, that's the 
the killings up. first began in western Nepal, where the villagers were tormented and eaten for three long years. Hunters Jesus. would eventually be sent in okay. to track the animal down, but she would prove to be too elusive. Eventually, the Nepalese army was called in, and they would succeed in scaring her away, forcing her across the border and into India, <laughs> Not where she would continue anymore. to hunt for humans in the Kumal district, Jesus. rotating her kills between multiple villages, picking anyone Wait, off who would venture in. We've been in this district, bro. This district is game fucked. To the woods, and since all the kills were done in broad daylight, this would leave what? the villagers completely paralyzed with fear, oh, preventing them from God. walking and leaving their homes. This nightmare would last for a dreadfully long four years but Jesus. eventually a handsome reward would be offered to any man who can manage Why to not kill the beast. many well-known and famous hunters would attempt this task but would okay. all return home with a taste of defeat Who's the face? but in 1907 a young and unknown 31 year old hunter would take this challenge on for himself and surprisingly he would refuse the money as he accepted the task simply to help nice he guy. would begin this hunt with a four-day trip on foot through the dense jungle before reaching the town where the animal was last seen mm -hmm. on arrival he would be shocked to discover a ghost town since everyone Everybody was dead? locked inside oh, of their homes okay. with the locals claiming that the animal had been roaring in the nearby jungle for the last few days. Damn. The young hunter would then proceed to the site where the last victim was taken, discovering nothing but a few of the victim's bones. While investigating, word of a new attack reached the village. It was from the neighboring town. The hunter quickly set out on foot once again, but by the time he reached the town, Another he would town? discover that a newer attack had just taken place. You, how often are people dying here? He would reach the new attack site and began to follow the trail of blood, seeing nothing but a small glimpse of the tigress on the horizon. Paparaz. But he was forced to abandon the pursuit, since nightfall was but moments uh. away. The following morning, the hunter came up with a plan. He instructed the villagers Was that a poo -poo? to make loud noises by screaming and banging pots. As he began to walk through the dense jungle and working his way to the grasslands at the edge of the forest, the huh? villagers would begin to make noise why he, too why soon. He the the hunter was left with no choice but to run as fast as he could through the dense jungle, slipping and falling on oh. rocks and roots, trying his best to get to the edge of the forest before the beast. Once he finally arrived and out of breath, he feared that he might have missed her. He waited for a moment, catching his breath, and she appeared, okay. walking out of the forest like he predicted. He would ready his rifle Don't and mess. take the shot, Don't wounding mess. the animal on the back leg. As the giant cat began to climb over a rock, the hunter took his second Don't shot miss. and missed. God With the damn cat it. over the rock and out of sight, the only option left was to track her down. Once he climbed over the rock to see where the animal had gone, she would instantly appear hey. standing on top of another rock where she would begin to charge him head on. And Bro, that would be terrifying. This would be absolutely fucking terrifying. In that instant, the hunter would let off his Don't third miss. shot, sending the animal from a complete charge to collapsing onto the floor. Laying Good. on the grass, she would take her last and final <laughs> breath. If I was that hunter, I would have put like 17 more shots in this bitch. I am not taking any chance. I would poke it with a 20 meter stick after I've shot it like 30 times. Upon inspecting the Hell body, no. the hunter found that the tiger's top and bottom jaw were completely broken. Oh. A hunter long ago, before she was ever a man-eater, attempted to kill her for sport, uh -huh. permanently injuring her preventing the animal from hunting and eating her natural prey Wait. resulting in her okay, habit if it i don't understand this he said this like three times okay her top and bottom jaw are broken that did not help those 400 people at all though she still ate those motherfuckers in a resort to eating humans as a means of survival like, but after seven long years and devouring over 430 people the nightmare would now come to an end so what's his name the people from countless villages get the would name finally the have true peace and their normal lives returned to them first off this is india and from what i've seen of this video this motherfucker gonna have peace for like three days before another leopard lion hybrid thing comes from the forest and start eating their ass for the young hunter who killed the beast he would go down in history as one of the most prolific hunters to have ever lived. Who this? He would be remembered for generations and would even have the first national park in India named in his honor. Which is? This 31-year-old unknown hunter was no one other than Jim Corbett. Wait. Origin story? God damn. All right. Well, what do you guys think about this? If anybody's watching this from India, 
what the hell is going on? Can you tell me? Because I want to know what is going on over there. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, check out Good Enough. And I'll see you all next time. Okay, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.